Well, let's bring in the father of Rukome for more discussions on uh, uh, the gentleman who has uh, gone to that point of uh, writing in spite of the challenges. Edeta Tuonio is father of uh, Rukome. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at uh, 7. I saw the confidence with which uh, Rukome addressed uh, uh, the press there. And I must say it's uh, really encouraging and intriguing. How exactly has it been uh, managing the situation over time? Thank you so very much for having me. I am enthused, I'm excited about um, what God has enabled Rukume to achieve this past 26 years. It's been quite daunting, especially in a society that, permit me to use the word, rejecting. But against all odds, we've had to encourage him in so many ways. Importantly, we have not made him to feel that he is disabled in any way. Fine, we know that people get challenged, and that's exactly what he has had to grapple with. Of course, so many obstacles down the line he had to overcome in ensuring that he fulfills his purpose. And um, of course, educationally, that's one very challenging aspect that we have had to grapple with because most of the things that his mates will do, he will not be able to do, especially when he had to go to the university and had to drop out. That was a very low moment for all of us in the home, a very low moment for him as well. But I thank God that um, many institutions, especially Lagos State Government, is beginning to look the way and physically challenged persons, also mentally challenged. All right, Mr. Twenty. Like rightly said. Okay, yes. so what do you think that government and individuals and groups can actually do to make the environment, the society more friendly for persons living with disabilities? I, I, I want to commend some societies like the Cerebral Policy Initiative and also some organizations, but the truth be told, because of lack of government attention to some of these groups, they've not been able to make positive impact. You would notice that quite a number of these children, some of these adults, are locked up in homes. They're not able to give vent to their abilities. Yes, cerebral policy challenges you mentally, but if, of course, there are quite a number of things they are able to do if given the right environment and not a society that looks with pity on them. They don't want to be pitied. They want to be encouraged. They want to be able to mix up with the larger society. The, an example of the curriculum in the university and then the grading does not give room for some of these children to be able to study alongside the other children with normal abilities permit me to use that as well so mm. the national university commission the state governments should be able to should start thinking of how to integrate these members of the society into the larger society that's my advice and then they won't feel the need to go abroad where which is more accommodating you know, because most of the time that Rukume has to travel abroad, he feels much more at home. That shouldn't be. Mm. He should feel much more at home in Nigeria than feeling at home abroad. All right, Mr. Tony, and considering the fact that not everyone can even afford that uh, level of luxury, if we may put it that way. I was particularly intrigued within uh, a portion of the book, actually, and his desire to study further, despite dropping out at some point because of the conditions around the educational facility. Thank you very much, Mr. Tony, for joining us on TVC Thank News you so very at much 7. For me. And God well bless. done for the good work you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.